Mary D., an icon, an advocate for victims of violent crime, a trailblazing broadcaster, has died at the age of 85. CBS 2's Jermont Terry spoke to people who knew her best. He joins us in the newsroom. Jermont. Brad, despite being 85, Mary D's passing still seems too soon for many. It's mostly because she never really slowed down. She was a true Chicagoan through and through who embraced everyone she met. Chicago broadcaster Mary D is a trailblazer, and it's a title well earned. She was a beautiful woman with a beautiful voice and beautiful spirit. CBS2 anchor Jim Williams is a former co-worker. He reminds everyone her broadcast career did not begin on TV. She started out as a DJ, you know, at a jazz station. Then she moved to a station, a very popular station that had a mixture of jazz and some progressive rock. And from there, she goes to Channel 44, where she's a talk show host. In 1971, after a taping of her talk show, Dee and the guests were kidnapped outside the station. Both were shot in the head and left for dead in the forest preserve. She survived that. For some reason, there was a reason why she survived that, to be able to reach back, to be able to help those in need. WGN hired Mary Dee a year later. She became one of the first black women to anchor in Chicago. It's not easy to break ground in a field like this, um, especially being a black woman. And Mary D was a pioneer. She was someone who could tell you like a T.I. is. This is Mary D in December of 2021, receiving the Pioneer Award from the Illinois Broadcast Association. It's also the last time CBS2 president and general manager Jennifer Lyons saw her, but her impact is forever. She was a trailblazer for women. She really was. She inspired me. I know there's countless other women out there that she inspired and encouraged. And someone who gave her all. Close friend Andrew Hayes recalls how Chicagoans embraced Mary D over the years. Wherever we would go, she would be stopped. And people would want a photo or an autograph. Oftentimes they would ask her to tell her what lottery numbers to pick because she for a time was the person who pulled the balls out of the lottery machine live on air. She emceed countless charitable events, and sure, she rubbed elbows with many celebrities over the years. Her heart was in violence prevention. She put children first. Former Governor Jim Edgar credits Mary D with shining the important light on adoption in Illinois. She made a very positive difference in thousands of lives in Illinois, and uh, uh, she'll be missed, but uh, she won't be forgotten. It's a light that friends say will keep shining through her many works. And we should point out that the tributes are pouring in across Chicago and beyond. The National Association of Black Journalists calls Mary D a true trailblazer and woman who broke many barriers. And many people are thankful for what she did. In the newsroom, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you. And here's another one. Mary D was never just in the room. She was omnipresent. Her aura, electric, so explains this picture, circa 2018. My delight at introducing Miss D at an event for the LGBTQ community. Long before it was chic, PC, or necessary, she supported causes that didn't benefit her. That is the measure of mercy. Mary D also proved that angels wore pink power suits. 85 years isn't enough for a light that shines as bright, and tonight the world is a little darker because we were lucky enough to have her. We'll be right back.